Welcome to Tunnel Sports America Show. Chat Detroit Lions breaking news: The Detroit Lions have signed Teddy Bridgewater to a contract. He will be the backup quarterback to Jared Goff. Now, we all know what Teddy Bridgewater is capable of. He is capable of coming in the game, winning you a game, and with this offensive line, this running back uh, tandem, the wide receivers, the, ta- the tight ends that you have, he's perfectly capable of inserting himself in there and being efficient enough that's what dan campbell and his offense really relies on and let's be honest this is dan campbell's offense i know ben johnson calls the plays but dan campbell was the one who manifested this uh, offense when they fired anthony lynn and then you're starting to see ben johnson take it to another level so that's what you like to see obviously throughout the whole detroit lions tenure you know when you when you fire anthony lynn and then Dan Campbell has to take the play calling roles so that he kind of figure out what he wants this team to be. And that's what Ben Johnson has been able to excel at as uh, using the same thing that Dan Campbell has been using. So Teddy Bridger is going to come to Detroit. He's going to have familiarity with Dan Campbell. They were both in new Orleans for a couple years with under Sean Payton. And look, when you look at Teddy Bridgewater, We all know what Teddy Bridgewater is capable of, as I just said. We know he's capable of winning games with this offensive line, with this running game. But what does it mean organizationally? Because the Detroit Lions made some signings today that have me, that tell me that they're not, look. they're looking for more depth. You know, they think that they are a contender in the NFC. They signed Teddy Bridgewater, as we just led with the video. They signed Bobby Hart, who is an offensive lineman who could be really key could be really key for the Detroit Lions because you know that you're going to eventually have some injuries. What this has all told me is this. The Detroit Lions, Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, they they know for a fact that they are contenders in the NFC. And when you go out and you get a guy like Teddy Bridgewater, that basically puts it in cement that you are expecting to be in the thick of things. You are expecting your team to compete at the highest levels. That's why you do it. You know, when you have the cap space to go and get a backup quarterback who could really, really help you if you in case something happens with Jared Goff, that is key. You know, a lot of teams don't have the um, they don't have the cap space to do that. So for the Detroit Lions to be able to cash that in and go and get it back with quarterback, this is like the first time in a long time that the Detroit Lions have had a capable backup behind their starting quarterback. I mean, you might go back to Sean Hill. I know a lot of people don't like Sean Hill, but he did a pretty decent job with uh, under Matthew Stafford. And then you had a couple years where you had Matt Castle and and a bunch of dodo brains, but it, it's just what it, it is what it is. But to me, what this signing really shows me is that the Detroit Lions are serious about becoming contenders in the NFC, especially going going to a Super Bowl. That's what they are looking at, because you don't sign a backup quarterback if you're if as as an insurance policy, uh, if and make that investment if you're not like if you're if you're a team that's expecting to just get in the playoffs. You're probably not making this move. If you're a team that's expecting to be one of the top NFC teams, this is the move that you make, and this is a great move by the Detroit Lions because we all kind of fabricated this, like Teddy Bridgewater coming to Detroit because we've heard all the rumors, we've heard all all the stuff. He is coming to Detroit now, so it's a good thing for Detroit. It's a good thing for this franchise. This is they have never had a backup quarterback in a long time to back up their starting quarterback. And then if you go past Sean Hill, you're gonna go past a lot of just no one. So because when you don't have a starting quarterback, you don't have a backup quarterback. That's just the way it is. So great move by the Detroit Lions. Uh, Brad, Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, they know what they're doing. They know they just sent you a message today that they are expecting to be in the thick of things in the NFC. You go and get your backup quarterback, you go and get a a backup offensive lineman, and you roll with it. And that's what this Detroit Lions team is doing. And and, then, look, we have talked about it forever. This team, this fan base, is starred for a winner. And this, it seems like Dan Campbell and Brett Holmes are the people that are going to really bring this home. So when you look at why did they sign Teddy Bridgewater and why is it such a big deal, to me, it sends the message that they are expecting to be in the thick of things. And if something were to happen to Jared Goff, 
you could have a little bit of, you know, consistency. And last year we went into the uh, we went into the season and Nate Sudfield was still learning the playbook. So that could have been pretty bad. When you are a contender, you really want a backup quarterback who could really help you out. And you look across the league, you look at like maybe like the with with the Chiefs they had can't they had Chad Haney. I mean you look at the 49ers any of their any of their twenty four quarterbacks. It's just the way it goes. And sometimes you do deal with injuries. So when you have a capable backup to come in the game who can work with the talent that he has around him, that's really crucial. And if you're a big time team, you know, that has the cap space, the signing Teddy Bridgewater is an absolute home run for the Detroit Lions. And it proves that they are a contending team in the NFC. I want to know what you think. What do you think about the Teddy Bridgewater signing? Let me know below, and we will have that conversation. And I'll see you in the next video, probably tomorrow, as we do more Detroit Lions content as we get closer to Friday when they play the New York Giants in their first preseason game. I'll see you then, guys.